Hi, my name is Michelle. Today we're going to be focusing on the lower body and we're going to use a scarf, strap, belt, resistance band, whatever you have. And then something for underneath the head, a folded up blanket or a yoga block will work great. And we're going to start in a kneeling position. We'll have our knees directly underneath our hips. And then we're going to start by stepping our right foot forward. And then we're going to scoot our toes a little bit more forward so that our ankle is a little bit past our knee. We're going to press down into that heel, plug that right femur bone in towards our body. And then feel as if you're tilting the bottom tip of your triangle of the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Option to hold here, find the balance, or maybe you want to start to shift your body forward. We'll keep pressing down into that heel. Thinking about tilting the bottom tip of your triangle up towards the ceiling. One more deep breath here. Good. Now let's step that right foot back and switch sides. So the left foot will step forward now. We'll slide that foot a little bit more forward so that our ankles past our knee. Press down through that left sole of the foot. Lug that left femur bone in towards your body. And do whatever feels comfortable with those arms. And then bring your awareness into your pelvis. We're going to imagine the bottom tip of the pelvis is tilting up towards the ceiling. Option to find stillness here. Or maybe you want to slide your hips forward as you keep pressing down through that left heel. Keep plugging that left femur bone in towards your body. One more deep breath here. Good, and then let's step that left foot back to meet the right. Meeting in this high kneel position with our knees directly underneath our hips. We're going to take a big deep breath in, and then as we exhale, we're going to reach our body back lengthening through the thighs. You can hold here, or maybe you want to flow with your breath. Exhaling, we'll reach back, and then inhaling to come up. Let's keep our chin tucked in, the back of the neck long. Find a pace that works well for you. We'll keep those shoulders relaxed. One more deep breath. Option to hold if you want to make it more challenging. Head. And now we're going to make our way onto our stomach. And then we're going to take our strap so that it's nearby. And then we're going to take it around the sole of the left foot. Or sorry, left ankle, not the foot. We want it on the ankle. You can slide it over that left shoulder. And then let's bring some awareness into our feet and our knees. We want to try to keep our knees in line with our hips here. So we're going to press down that left hip bone into our mat. Relax the leg. And then we're gently pulling on the strap. Keep reaching that left hip down towards the floor. Option to relax your forehead down. Maybe rest it on your fist, or you could reach your cheek down to either side. One more deep breath here. And then we'll slowly release. Before we switch sides, let's bring both soles of the feet towards the floor or sorry, towards the ceiling, and then windshield wiper the legs. So we're going to move them from side to side. 
only going as far over to the side as feels good for you. Good, and now let's switch sides. I'm gonna show it from a different angle this time. We want the strap around the sole, or sorry, around that right ankle, not around the foot. We'll thread it around or over that right shoulder. And then we want to try to keep our knees in line with our hips. We're going to ground down through that right hip. Relax the leg. Option to keep the head up or maybe want to relax it down. And keep pressing that right hip down into the floor. And each exhale, we're softening our body just a little more here. Let's take two more deep breaths. Good. And then we'll slowly come out of that. Take a moment to windshield wipe with those legs again from side to side if that felt good in your body. And now we're going to roll over onto our back. Option to place something for underneath the head. And then we're going to bring the strap around the sole of the right foot and extend our right leg up towards the ceiling. We're going to keep this left leg bent to start. And then we're going to bend this right knee. So the knee is going to come down towards the floor and taking that strap into opposite hands or either hand, I guess I mean to say. We'll stack our ankle over top of our knee. And then find that resistance. We're going to feel as if we're straightening our leg towards the ceiling, but we're going to find that resistance with our arms. Don't let the leg straighten. We're reaching those arms down towards the floor. From here, we're going to straighten that left leg and hold here. A couple deep breaths. We're trying to straighten that leg. So if the leg starts to shake, that's just fine. A couple more deep breaths here. With your next inhale, we're slowly going to straighten that leg. Find that resistance, though. Don't let it happen easily. <sighs> Once that leg is all the way straight, we're going to keep pressing out through that heel and then let our legs sway from side to side. So we still have that resistance pulling the strap towards us, reaching through that right heel. And then let's switch sides. So now we're going to bring that strap around the sole of the left foot. Bring that right sole of the foot to the floor. And then find that resistance. We're pressing out through that left heel. And then pulling our strap down towards the floor. And then we're going to sway our leg gently from side to side. And then we'll find center. And now we're going to bend into the knee. So our left knee reaches towards the floor. We're going to try to keep our ankle stacked over our knee. Find that resistance. We're trying to straighten our left leg, but our arms are pulling our leg down towards the floor. And then when you're ready, we're going to slowly extend that right leg down our mat. Don't leave, lose that feeling of resistance. That knee is reaching towards the floor. 
And then we're trying to straighten that leg towards the ceiling. Soften in the shoulders. The jaw, the belly. Softening in the hips with each exhale. Let's stay here for one more deep breath. With your next inhale, we're gonna slowly extend that leg. And then we're gonna let it come all the way down to the floor. And we'll move the strap off to the side for a moment. And then we're gonna roll over onto our side. Option to have something for underneath the head or you could also prop your head up with your hand. We're gonna have both legs extended. And then we're gonna top out, press out through our top heel. And when we do that, we're gonna notice the belly, our hips right here, are gonna lift off the floor as we press down through that top heel. So just notice what that feels like in your body. And we're just relaxing here. Or if we press out through that top heel, you notice how that changes it in your body. So for this next exercise, we're gonna stay in this feeling of pressing out through that top heel. And then we're gonna to start to lift and lower that top leg. So if we continue to press out through that heel, our leg isn't actually gonna go that far. If it does, then you're probably letting go of that feeling of pressing out through that heel. So that's the main movement here. Keep pressing it out. Don't worry about how high it goes. And then we're gonna check in with that top hip. We want it completely stacked over that top hip or maybe even rolled forward a little bit. It's gonna run and roll back to make it easier. Let's keep pressing out through that heel. One more deep breath. and then relax take a moment massage it if you'd like and then we're going to roll over onto our back grab a hold of our strap now we're going to bring it around the sole of that foot that was just on top so if you're doing the same side as me it was your right leg we're going to extend that heel up towards the ceiling and then we're gonna straighten that bottom leg. We wanna to try to keep that left thigh or that bottom leg in contact with the floor. And then find that resistance with that right leg or our top leg, we're reaching through that heel. Find that resistance by pulling the strap towards your body. We're gonna keep that right hip grounded. And now we're gonna slowly move our right leg over across the body only going as far as you can still maintain that right hip grounded. And we're reaching through that right heel. Relax the shoulders, the belly, the jaw. Maybe that left leg is trying to help out. Invite it to soften. And we'll check in with the lower back here. We don't want our entire lower back flattened, but we want those low ribs on the floor. Last breath. As you inhale, we'll bring that leg back to center. And then take a moment, maybe you wanna sway it again from side to side. And now we're gonna bring that right knee in towards our chest, extending through that left heel. <sighs> One more big deep breath here. Good, and now we're gonna switch sides. So you can just roll over if you'd like. I'm going to switch here so I stay facing you. So now we want our other leg on top. If you did the same side as me, now our left leg's going to be on top. Option to place something underneath the head. Our legs are going to be extended, then we're pressing out through that top heel. As you press out through that top heel, feel your belly lifting off the floor. 
We're gonna press out through that top heel the whole time. And then we're gonna lift and lower that top leg. Check in that that hip isn't rolled back. We want it straight over top that bottom hip or maybe a little bit rolled forward. Relax the bottom leg, the jaw, the shoulders. And let's do one more. Keep reaching out through that heel. And then take a moment, massage if you'd like. And then when you're ready, we'll roll over onto our back. I'm taking that strap now around the other foot. If you're doing the same side as me, we'll take it around the sole of the left foot. Find that resistance. We're reaching that left heel up towards the ceiling, pulling that strap towards our body, and then we're going to extend through that right leg. Now let's ground down through that left hip, and then we're reaching our leg across our body. Only going as far as you can still maintain that left hip on the floor. I'm going to show that from another angle now. So your leg's not maybe going over that far. That's just fine. Reach out through that left heel as you keep that left hip grounded. Relax the shoulders. Maybe wiggle the toes. Check in with the lower back. Is it flat? Can we keep those lower ribs on the floor without the whole lower back flattened? One more deep breath. And then use your inhale to come back to center. Take a moment. Maybe you want to sway that leg a little from side to side. And we'll release your strap off to the side. Bring that left knee in towards your chest and extend through that right heel. Two more deep breaths here. And we'll release out of that and then roll over onto your side. It doesn't matter which one. Just make note of which one you're on. I have my left leg on top. You want to do the same side as me. Option to place something underneath the hip. Or sorry, underneath the head. <laughs> and then we're extending our legs. We're going to do that same feeling of reaching through that top heel. We're going to lift to pelvis height. And now we're going to find external rotation. So our toes are going to reach up towards the ceiling. We're going to stay in external rotation as we lift and lower. Relax that bottom leg. Keep pressing out through that top heel. And then check in with that top hip. We want to make sure that it hasn't rolled back. Keep those toes reaching up towards the ceiling. Don't lose that feeling of pressing out through that top heel. Soften the jaw, the shoulders, wherever you're holding any tension. Let's stay here for one more deep breath. And then exhale to release. Take a moment to relax. Maybe massage if you'd like. And then when you're ready, we're going to roll over onto our back. Taking our strap around the sole of whatever foot that was just on top. So if you do the same side as me, it was our left leg. So my strap is around the sole of the left foot. Find that resistance. Reach that left heel towards the ceiling. Find that strap pulling it towards your body. We'll extend that right leg down our mat. And let's find that external rotation again. So our toes are going to reach away from our body. Ground down through that left hip. Reach out through that left heel. And then we're going to move our leg across the body, staying in that external rotation. Don't let that left hip reach off the floor. Relax the shoulders. Check in with the lower back. 
We want those low ribs connected, but the whole lower back not flat. Couple more deep breaths here. Relax the shoulders. Relax that right leg. One more big deep breath here. And then we'll use our inhale to come back up to center. And then let's internally and externally rotate our leg. So the heel reaches to the left and then to the right. Okay, now we'll bring that knee in towards our chest. Extend through that right heel. Option to find stillness here. Maybe you want to circle out that left knee, that left hip. Good, and now we're going to switch sides. So we want our other leg on top. We did the same side as me. We want our right leg on top now. Our legs are extended. We're going to press out through that top heel and then find that external rotation. So the toes are reaching up towards the ceiling and then we're going to lift and lower. Make sure that that top hip isn't rolled back and don't lose that feeling of reaching through that heel. Imagine there's a wall right by your feet and you're sliding that heel up and down the wall. Keeping those toes pointing up towards the ceiling, that hip rolls forward. Last breath here, maybe slowing the movement down. Whenever you're finished, take a moment to relax. And then rolling over onto the back whenever you're ready. Taking that strap around the sole of the right foot, if you did the same side as me, or whatever leg was on top. We'll extend that left leg down our mat and then find that external rotation. So our toes are going to be reaching away from our body. Find that resistance, that heel is reaching towards the ceiling. We're pulling our straps towards us and then keeping that right hip grounded. We're going to slowly move our leg across the body, only going as far as you need to, to feel the stretch. Keep that right hip grounded. Keep that right heel reaching up towards the ceiling as your shoulders stay relaxed. Check in with the lower back. We want those ribs connected, the lower ribs, but the whole lower back not pressing down. We want a little bit of space there, about the width of a pencil. Invite the jaw, the shoulders, everything to relax here. With your next inhale, let's bring that leg back to center. And then let's internally and externally rotate. Reaching that heel from the side to side. God, we'll release the strap off to the side now. Bring that right knee in towards your chest. Option to just hold here. Or maybe you want to circle out that knee and that hip going in both directions good now we're going to switch sides again so rolling over onto your side option to place something underneath the head our legs are extended we're pressing through that top heel now we're going to find internal rotation so the toes are going to point down towards the floor keep pressing through that top heel and then we're going to lift and lower make sure that top hip is rolled forward not back soften in that bottom leg Make sure those toes stay pointing down towards the floor. Keep reaching through that top heel. Relax the jaw, the belly, 
anywhere you're holding any tension. Maybe slowing the movement down here, last breath. And take a moment, pause. And then when you're ready, we'll roll over onto our back. That same side that was just doing the moving that was on top, we'll take that strap around that sole of the foot. Extend that opposite leg down your mat and then find that resistance. Reach that heel towards the ceiling. Pull that strap towards your body. Now we're going to find internal rotation. So the toes are going to reach towards the midline. We're going to keep them there. Reach out through that heel. Keep that right hip grounded or whatever hip of the leg that's extended. And then we're moving that leg across the body. Trying to stay in that internal rotation. Relax the shoulders, the jaw. Check in with the lower back. Can you slide a pencil there? Can you feel those lower ribs in contact with the floor? A couple more deep breaths here. With your next inhale, let's bring that leg back to center. Take a moment to sway it from side to side. And then we'll release that leg. And now we're gonna switch sides. Our legs are extended. We're pressing out through that top heel. And then finding internal rotation. So the whole leg rotates, so the toes are pointing towards the floor. Make sure that hip isn't rolled back, and then whenever you're ready, we're lifting and lowering. Pressing out through that top heel the whole time, don't forget. Make sure that that hip doesn't roll back. And keep reaching those toes towards the floor. Keep reaching through that heel. There might be a temptation to speed the movement up. Let's go nice and slow here. And one more deep breath here. Make sure that bottom leg's relaxed. Take a moment to relax whenever you're ready. We're rolling over onto our back. Taking that strap around the sole of the other foot. You did the same side as me. It'll be the left side this time. We'll reach that leg up towards the ceiling. Extend that other leg down our mat. Now we're finding internal rotation. So those toes are going to reach towards the midline. We'll press out through that heel. And now grounding down through that hip, we'll start to reach our leg across the body, staying in that internal rotation. Relax the shoulders, the belly. And try to keep that hip grounded as we reach that heel towards the ceiling. Check in with the lower back. And we want those lower ribs in contact with the floor. Two more deep breaths here. And then we'll come back to center on the inhale. Sway that leg a little from side to side. And then we'll release that strap. We're gonna step both feet now, knees bent, and then widen our feet a little wider than hip width apart. 
And then we're gonna windshield wiper the knees, letting one knee fall down at a time, and then the other. And we'll walk those feet back in, hip width apart. And then let's let the knees rest towards each other, the feet fall apart. We'll stay here for three deep breaths. Noticing any sensations you feel in the hips, the legs. And now let's walk those feet back in, hip width apart. We're gonna reach our right heel up towards the ceiling and then cross that right heel over the left knee. We'll check in with the lower back, make sure that the back isn't flattened. And then we're gonna bring those knees in towards our chest. Option to interlace the fingers around that left thigh or you could grab your strap. Take it in each hand. We'll relax that left lower leg, make sure that our lower back is in flattened, and then we're bringing those legs in towards our body. We want those lower ribs in contact with the floor, those shoulders relax. And one more big deep breath here. As we exhale, let's release. And then we'll windshield wiper those legs again, letting our feet widen a little wider than mat width apart. And then coming down one side at a time. Okay, now we're gonna roll over onto our side again. Doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna have my left leg on top if you wanna do the same side as me. Our legs are extended. You might have guessed it. We're going to press through that top heel as if we're pressing into the wall, an imaginary wall right by our feet. We're going to lift up to about pelvis height, and then we're going to switch from internal to external rotation. Keep pressing out through that heel the entire time. And then check in with that top hip as it rolls back when you want it stacked on top of the bottom hip, or maybe a little bit forward. Relax that bottom leg. A couple more deep breaths here. Keep reaching through that top heel. Go ahead, exhale to release. Take a moment to massage if you'd like. And then we're gonna roll over onto our back again. And this time the left leg is gonna reach up towards the ceiling. And then our ankle, our left ankle is gonna cross over the right knee. So we're making this kind of number four position. Without letting the lower back flatten, we're gonna bring our knees in towards our body. Option to interlace your fingers around that right thigh or you can grab a hold of your strap. We're inviting those knees as close in towards our body without letting that lower back flatten. And we'll bring some extra attention into that right lower leg and foot. Make sure it's nice and relaxed. Soften in the shoulders, the belly, the hips. Let's stay here for three more deep breaths. Trying to consciously relax those hips with each exhale. Whenever you're finished, gently releasing those feet back down towards the floor. We'll widen our feet a little wider than hip width apart again, and then windshield wiper those knees. Letting one knee fall towards center, and then the other. God, we'll heel toe those feet back in. 
and then bring those knees in towards your chest. We'll rock our knees from side to side, or maybe you want to make some circles. We are doing those circles. Make sure to go in both directions. Good. And now we're going to switch sides. So rolling over, if you want to stay facing me, you can flip over. Do so we want our other leg on top? If you did the same side as me before, the left leg was on top. Now we'll have our right leg on top. We're going to press through that top heel. And then lifting up about pelvis height, keep pressing in through that heel. And then we're going to change from internal to external rotation. Don't lose that feeling of reaching through that top heel. Make sure that that top hip isn't rolled back. One more deep breath here. Good. Exhale to release. We take a moment. Relax. And then we're going to roll over onto our stomach again. We're going to have our strap nearby. And then we're going to bring it around the right ankle. Bringing that strap in either hand and then bringing it over the shoulder. We want that right knee to stay in line with our hip. And then let's press that right hip down into the floor and breathe here. option to bring the forehead down to the floor or maybe your cheek. And with each exhale, inviting any tension in the thighs to relax, soften. Let's take one more deep breath here. And then exhale to release. And then we'll switch sides, taking that strap around the left ankle now. And then carrying it across the shoulder. And making sure that that knee is in line with your hip. And then we're going to press that left hip down into the floor. Relax the left knee. With each exhale, inviting any tension to just release out of the hips. One more deep breath here. And then exhale to release. Take your time to come out. And then we're going to press ourselves up. Come on to the hands and the knees. Take a moment to wiggle out the spine if that feels good. And we're going to finish our practice off sitting on our block. If you don't have a block, you could fold up a blanket or a towel, just anything to lift your hips up a little bit. And then we're going to have our feet in a nice wide position. So we're going to come to the front edge of our object so that we can feel like our pelvis is rotating forward. So we can get a nice stretch in the insides of the thighs here. Option to just relax here, or maybe you want to add a little bit of a twist, bringing your body over to one side and then the other. And 
And we'll take our hands to either side or maybe in front. And then we're just gonna fold forward. Doesn't matter how far, reaching the chest towards the floor and letting those toes reach up towards the ceiling. You can lower the chin down towards the chest. Option to sway a little from side to side. I'm gonna stay here for three more deep breaths. When you're ready to come out, we'll move nice and slow, keeping the back of the neck long. And then let's bring those feet in. Find a comfortable position. We'll take our hands out to either side, palms facing up. And one more time, let's reach our arms up together, inhaling. And then as we exhale, let's bring our palms down, bringing our practice in. And I'd like to thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Namaste.